So let's take this brand new loco out of the box. Not put it on the track yet. So this is the LNER black version. Mm, that's nice. And this way, oh, light comes on, lovely. So this is uh, early 19th century, 1903, I think. And this is my other Camelback, which is a Metropolitan Camelback from the underground tube stock. This one's scratch built, uh, got tenor shader spud in it and bodies actually from a lima camel back the bonnets anyway and you can see the similarities i think they're both brush built actually but you can see the similarities anyway better run it in now so it's supposed to go half speed for 30 minutes and off it goes we've got some calestri lnrs Period. Lovely bonnet headlamp, cab lighting too, lovely smooth runner. I think it's well worth it. What do you think? So the Northeastern ES1 has run in rather well. Very smooth, quite happily pulling a train around my layout. Very nice and smooth. On the outside line, we have a 1910 Metropolitan scratch built Camelback using a tenor shado spud. And again, running rather nicely, pulling a set of twins. Meanwhile, a scratch-built N7 shunts a guards van and a heavily repainted Dapol N2 bought for the princely sum of £20 recently but painted and lined and runs superbly well shunts a scratch-built six-wheel brake van made from CAD drawn card models as the Camelbacks continue running round. Two camelbacks running together. There's a novelty.